A lot of it being two cuts, really driving the production and. Uh, oh, no! See, this is the <laughs> problem. A lot of the beats uh -huh. that are being attributed to two cuts uh -huh. were made by me. The songs are incredible on it. Uh, the one that I first got to hear um, was CL Zico um, featuring on Epic High, Rosario. Um, yeah. What was the creation process like for that song and the music video? I thought the music video was incredible as well. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Rosario was… Uh, it started off with um, Two Cuts had like a demo beat and it was really, really upbeat. Like it was… Mm. Like I mean like <laughs> birthday party. <laughs> like upbeat where like uh -huh. you know like balloons and like like people <laughs> dressed celebration. up as like yeah. dinosaurs you know it's just just wait everyone with like you know margaritas it was just <laughs> cr crazy happy hour uh, and he plays me this beat and like he's like what do you think and it was good but it was just really happy mm. I was like listening and then like 10 minutes later, I was like, oh, yo, I, I, I'm going to try to rap to this. I go in. Um, so I write a little something. I go in and I did the rap. But my rap verse was um, pretty much what's on the final song. So it was really dark and mm -hmm. um, sort of menacing at times and right. didn't fit the song. So Two Cuts is like, what the hell are you doing? And I'm like… I can't be who I'm not. Like this is this is what I feel when mm. I hear this song. I ironically, so we needed to change the song up a bit so that these two emotions can meet in the middle, and um and to do that we actually uh, went to L.A. Um, mm. pre U.S. COVID. This was when like right. I went there, I went there and I told. Including your brother. Eddie Nob, 100%. I told everyone there, buy masks. Wear yeah. masks. It yeah. might already be here and no one believed me. <laughs> you serious? But, so we got there and we worked with um, different artists to um, change up the song. To try to get different energies into it. And then we came up with um, a song that can sound hype. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, you can work out to this song. But mm. at the same time has this sadness and right. this darkness that I wanted to, you know, mm. I wanted to deliver. Um, speaking of your, your camps in LA, I think, I think I was on tour or something. Or like we were just missing each other. Um, yeah, you were on tour. LA. Um, you were on tour. You were it was right before your tour got canceled. <laughs> yeah, good times. Um, but you work with some longtime collaborators and friends of mine as well. I think for the first time, right? Um, with Rabbit yeah. and Mike. And um, Mighty Mike, yeah. Um, but what was it like? I mean, I've always known of Epic High to… A lot of it being two cuts really driving the production and… Uh, oh, no. See, this is the problem. <laughs> is this what? It, please clear this up. This is the problem. Okay, a lot of the beats uh -huh. that are being attributed to two cuts uh -huh. were made by me, <laughs> and this is a grievance I have. Okay, here's okay. the problem. Let's Be address it. Because I'm a rapper, like right. visual visually, I'm a rapper first, right? Mm -hmm. So. When people like look at our songs and look at the credits, they think that like I'm just making hooks, melodies, and raps. But I'm actually doing the beat production. Like mm. more than half the album, I am actually producing the beats. Okay. You know? but, but because Two Cuts has this like, you know, the born, born hater producer yeah. like, image, people keep attributing the beats I made to him. They're like, oh my god, this beat goes hard. DJ two cuts. <laughs> and I'm I'm not, you know, I'm not like, I'm not gonna go online and be like, I'm not gonna be like, hey, that beat was produced by me. But I'm just saying, 
This has got to stop. Okay. <laughs> and this, and the problem with this is that two cuts, when someone in an interview, when we're doing an interview and they're like, oh, this, this track, Laika, uh, the beat is so great to two cuts, right? Yeah. He won't correct them. <laughs> he won't be like, oh, I actually didn't make that beat. That was Tableau. He will not <laughs> correct them. Like he's just sitting there like, it's like yeah, you know, it's getting me. all. All the praise. You sit on a throne of lies. No, no. This guy, dude. <laughs> anyway, Well, I'm glad we um, addressed that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have no problem with you thinking that Two Cuts is the driving force. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, I don't think I call them driving force. I think this is something that's deep inside of you that we needed to address. I'm... I'm okay with letting Two Cuts have that. Uh, I mm -hmm. mean, like over the years, I've actually been the reason why people have started thinking that way because I wanted like his place in the team to not like go uh, unnoticed. Mm. But to say driving force. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm glad we rectify this misunderstanding on the production Jeez. side. Hey guys, before you go, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for this channel. And comment if you can. And uh, before you go, there's so much more content. Look at this amazing content for you guys to check out. Do it now, please. Okay, bye. Go. Bye.